Yo, Twitch chat, what up? Doofy, Rimbalisa, Ketchup, Jandis, Craigman, Pufferfish, Commander Keen, Chip, Chopperson, Chill, Chumpa. Whoa. <laughs> the alliteration in those names. Craigman, Shimmy Shammy. What's up, folks? Happy uh, Thursday? Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, da, da, da. Good to see you, everybody. We're going to do... I don't have too awful long today, Not unfortunately. Kind of got started later than I thought. This day has just disappeared somehow. Hmm. Did she say that out loud, Reed Suppis? I didn't hear it. Huh. I think she's on. Anyway, thanks for the bits, Rudy's. Hey, Pickle Surprise. What up? Yeah, we're going to kick off with duels. I got a, uh, uh, I conceded until I got mage, so we can do hero power mage. Then, uh, with whatever time I've left today, again, I started late, so I'm kind of short on time. She did say it. Oh, I just have it really quiet, I guess. Okay, good, good, good. There it goes. Uh, Craigman. Big surprise, where's beef? What's up? Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to do duels. Then I have, uh, control warrior deck somebody made that's working in this meta, so that looks fun. We're going to try that with any leftover time. Uh, may not have a whole lot of leftover time today. I, I don't. My day literally just disappeared. I don't even know what I've been doing all day. I've been working, but apparently very slowly. I, I don't know. It took me forever to get today's video done, find a good intro. And, I don't and you know. You get mage and warrior right away this time. Uh, not right away. No, I <laughs> conceded off stream. Uh, it only took one concede though, and then I got both. Yeah. Last yesterday it took five uh, retires to get uh to get uh, warrior. Today only one retire. So pretty good in the scheme of things. Can live with that. Only lost a little, little bit of MMR. I lost like 120 MMR yesterday. I think maybe like 100. It was like 20, 30 a, a pop per retire at zero wins, which really isn't that bad to only lose 20 when you retire at zero. I was like, oh, that's not that bad. Could be um. Could be worse. Hey, RPG Remy. What up? Uh, da, da, da. I thought about playing Diablo 2 a little bit today as well, but apparently it's had a lot of uh, technical issues. I, I do theoretically have it uh, downloaded, just uh, apparently it's not working that well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe tomorrow? I, I don't know. I don't... I don't feel like I have to play it. I posted about uh, about it on Instagram. Say they sent me that box or whatever. There's that box they sent me on Instagram. But uh, I don't have to play it. But we might. Not today though. Hey Sojourner, what's up? Yeah, I hope I have a good stream as well. <laughs> I'm right there with you We're on the same page. Uh, that's it. I guess we'll kick it off. Don't need to wait too long. All right. So we're going to do mage and I want to do hero power mage. And it might seem like worm bolt is better for that. But I like the idea of this one mana hero power just pumping out tons of damage with wildfire, right? Like we want to be able to weave this into turns really easily. Uh, yeah, I, I just... <laughs> Did a thing for Diablo and it freaked it out. <laughs> Sorry. I have been through the hey, Artie Toby. Today. I just wanted to say thank oh, no. you for helping myself and others through hard times and being exactly the person you are. You are awesome. Wow. Thank you for the kind words. I sure hope it gets better or goes well or turns around or whatever. But thank you for the five dollars and the kind words. Sorry you gotta deal with all that, but I wish you the best. Reckless Apprentice is going to ruin my hand. Yeah, that's okay. We've done that before. It's no big deal. Um, we've done we've done this before, but just without a good wildfire. Uh, with this hero power. Because if you focus on damage output, it doesn't really matter. Get three or four ice shards, that's fine. As long as we're clearing stuff, I'm happy. I just really like the cheapness. I don't have sound. What is going on? Why don't I have any sounds? 
There it goes. You guys hear it, right? I'm gonna get good at this one day. Uh, I think I like Wand of Dueling as well. We've done this before with other... We've done like... Well, I don't really want that many elementals. No, I don't like that. No. I think we'll take Wand. Yeah, I think we'll take Wand. It's just easy. Like, I, you know, I want to get to uh, uh, Mordredge ASAP, so... I do love Yogtastic Tasties, but that's for another day. We'll eventually get to that. We're just gonna stick to Hero Power stuff right now. We want, we so basically for this run, we want damage output and we want uh, Hero Power Synergy. Basically, I wanna make sure I'm set up to kill my opponent with Mordresh on turn eight. So I wanna make sure that I get um, good ping damage. Uh, I want Wildfires, I want more Wildfires later. I want Wand Makers. Is there any Inspire stuff? No. Really not that many good hero power cards available. Koldara Drake, I mean... With a one mana hero power, Koldara Drake's probably a little better. I don't think it's... Amazing. But it's probably a little better. No, no Rusticon, unfortunately. So I also want damage output, right? We're gonna try to burn people down probably do that it's sort of like damage frostbolt for sure ignite for sure rune orb for sure uh we're gonna want a fireball for sure could do raz could do jandis firelands portal seems a little slow we're 14 out of 16 any card draw yeah, I don't have any... Well, I got Panthara. Yeah, I don't have a ton of card draw yet. Uh, Cram Session might be a play. It's usually decent. Arcana like just kind of safe. Oh, we could go Frostweave Dungeoneer. It's kind of sick. I don't have that many Frost Spells, but... It's just a tutor that draws me damage. Like, it'll always draw me damage. I guess maybe not always with Primordial, but... Sort of even then, it kind of draws you damage. I like that. Tutoring a spell is pretty cool. Do we have the two drop in here, the Star Scryer? I don't think so, right? It's... Yeah, it's Outland, I think. Oh, Talon's a decent idea. He is a little slow. I'd rather have stuff I can pull. I actually think I'll take a Thalnos. Like, yes, of course, Talon's... A, well... It's one of those things, right, where it's like, Mordrash is only good, probably, in this very tight window of duels, where it's like, the first couple games, the game will probably be over before Mordrash, and then he's probably good from games like maybe three to six or something, right? Like, I don't, you know, I don't know, making up whatever, you know, three to six, four to four to six, something like that, three to five, where health totals are low enough, and games are still likely to go to turn eight, and then, you know, later on, Health totals might be too high to make Mordresh good again. Like the, the, Well, I guess he still clears boards, though, doesn't he? That makes him pretty good always. Never mind. I take it back. Can you spell Talon? Maybe Talon is good for that reason. Instead of a Thalnos. We could run Thalnos instead of Primordial Studies. They kind of do a similar thing. Because they're both spell damage minions. Thanos draws a card always. I think this is okay. I actually don't like Koldara Drake that much. It's like kind of good. Is, is it necessary to get me the Mordresh or not? No, it's only one mana for our thing. Between Wand and Wildfire already, we're going to get plenty of hero powers and Reckless. I think I'll run Thanos over Koldara. That is not a Thanos. <laughs> it's a blood thing, but not a blood Thanos. Okay. I kind of dig this. Yeah, Battle Totem would be sick. Should we ever put in more Battle Cries for that? I think we have enough, actually, weirdly. Somehow. This is a good Battle Cry, Battle Cry, Battle Cry, Battle Cry. So we're already sort of supporting the uh, Battle Cry game plan there. Okay. Yeah, I can work with this. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's good enough. Kind of cool. This is where you can go ahead and cue everybody saying... You should have taken the other hero power to get mana worms. <laughs> Everybody's.
I know, I know where the YouTube comments are gonna be. <laughs> They're already here in Twitch. Katie Page is a step ahead. <laughs> oh. Okay, Druid's interesting. Uh, Druid does have some nice little armor gain and healing. Oh my god, this hand! Woo! Okay, I think I just keep all of these cards. Great early game. Save the burst damage for later. Just get this stuff going. Well, Wildfire on one. Wand plus hero power on two. Uh, the one cool thing about this deck is... Um, we are always going to have value from our hero power, right? Like, I don't need... So, like, card draw is great in duels, right? But I'm going to be hero powering so regularly that I'll always be able to dump two ones. You know, they're not the most efficient plays or the most valuable plays. But... They're still pretty good. Uh, we'll just hold coin. That's fine. So this is already a uh, one mana deal two. Wand will make it deal three. This is very much gonna be a race this game. So we just wanna start here repairing ASAP. Ooh, Mordrush in hand. I doubt I hold a coin for Mordrush this game. Uh, we're probably gonna kill them sooner than that if things go well, right? Uh, or be dead ourselves, of course. This deck can deal a ton of damage too, so. One of the two. So probably Rune Door of Hero Power again. That's hitting for another five. There'll be a 12. They're getting armor off this thing, though. Ugh. Maybe we are going to have to get some more Drush. I'm worried I'm just going to be dead, though, right? I don't have any life gain. I guess I could freeze them out. That's one possibility. Okay, this is going to hit Frostbolt. I'm going to be the happiest dude on Earth, right? <laughs> it's for sure going to. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> So maybe I could play these down to, to get uh, their face frozen, particularly like in a pre-guff scenario. I don't know. Should have taken the draw secret hero power. Oh my god, yes. What was I thinking? That's so smart. Okay. They're at 19, but they're gonna gain more armor. All right, let's get these down, or one of these down anyway. Oh, I, I can't really risk the... Uh... <laughs> I really, really want this Arcane Missiles to kill the... Uh... The Panther, right? So that I can Hero Power Phase for max efficiency. But if they whiff, I lose a damage to face that I would otherwise get. Or I guess actually, yeah, I lose a, one damage. I guess it's worth the risk to lose one damage to gain uh, a couple extra. Like, I, I, you got to high roll sometimes, right? Let's just take the risk. No. No. Never pays off, dude. Never pays off. I can't, I can't leave it up because I want this to go face potentially. The odds of it going face are, eh, you know, not great, but. <sighs> so that sucked. I still think it was the right call though. Just take the high rolls. Play for the, uh, the good outs. Ooh. Um. I kind of need an ice barrier to stay alive here. It's not an ice barrier. I have to try to freeze them. I don't know. They use swipe to clear that. I mean, I could easily be dead right here, of course. Hero power, feral stuff. I guess doesn't quite do it. Or moon touch. That's only six. Boys, yeah. Some room by the heart. Kind of worse spots, right? This is eight really damage, just, ten damage. Frostbolt of lethal? No. Naturalize. Whoa. Oh, Talon might be a decent way to stay alive here. Um because they're going to be dealing face damage primarily, and they might have used their big removal for that. Okay. Ooh, so much armor, man. I'm at three as well. Any, like, face damage spell here is going to murder me. I mean, can I get to a Mordresh in two turns? Is this gonna stick for a couple turns? I don't know, I wish I could have played an Ice Shard with it so that I could, you know, set up a face freeze. Oh, I'm just dead, okay. 
it's fine. Can't really stop that too much in this game. A frost bolt would have really helped at some point though. We could have hit it. Imagine if I'd gotten those two freezes and that uh, frost bolt. Man, this game would have been so different. It was only like a one in five or something. Can't complain, but. Uh, do I really need arcane flux? I don't think so, right? I think I want fire shaper. Just more pings, more damage. We have a lot of spells, of course. We have a fair number of minions in this deck as well, but we're going to have spells and the damage is good. I think Fire Shaper is a pretty solid treasure, honestly. Maybe even a tad underrated. Uh, here's some Frost stuff to increase consistency a bit on the Dungeon Ear if I want. I don't love that these can't go face, though. Only one can. These, two of the cards can go face, which I kind of like. And this is sort of a Silence slash Polymorph effect, too. I think I'm gonna take this, and Mirror Image isn't bad either. Like, that last game of Mirror Image would have saved us, right? That would have been sick. Firelands is a tad slow for me, but it's okay. Hey, Shimmy Shammy with a seven months! Oh my god, how am I feeling about the meta post-patch? I honestly still haven't really played that much, but it seems better, it seems better. Um, You know, less Warlock is one great thing, for instance. So. A little better. With trolls. I despise paladins like you. Alrighty. Uh, Talon, I think, is too... Maybe too greedy. We'll hit more Dresher Talon if we need him. We may not need him. We may just be able to race, right? This is a matchup where they probably won't have as much life gain as that Druid, so... We might just be able to melt more than normal. Four damage here, for instance. Let's go. <laughs> Love it. The greed is real. Okay. I mean, th this is a slow hero power, typically. Cardside Defender was definitely a cool card. Yeah, I love cards like Cardside. Value, healing, defense. Uh, that was a great time, I think. Ooh. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> mirror image will be fine later. Can get that damage face from the mirror image now, but it's okay. Third 19. No wildfire yet, sadly. But fireball and fireless board already, you know, looking pretty good. Ooh, hello, Mr. Wildfire. What's up? Still just going fates, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, this is so stupid. Just ignoring the game altogether. Classic mage. Oh my god, Fire Shaper is basically the priest hero power right now. It's only going face. That's great, because this is already 11 damage, and this is another 3, so we technically have lethal set up. Just need to get to turn 7, which I suspect we will be able to do just fine. I feel like I'm the only one excited for Mercs, but I like gotchas. No, there's other people who are excited for Mercs, man. There's a bunch on Reddit I've seen, and there's some in the YouTube comments I've seen. There's just a lot of vocal haters, you know, and a lot of vocal hesitators, which I am a group of. I'm a vocal hesitator. I'm, in other words, I'm hesitant about it, you know. Cautiously optimistic, maybe even. Hopeful, but scared for mercs um you know just because the gotcha as you said has a bad track record i i think what'll happen is um probably will pre-order my guess is that for mercenaries like what was released on monday there you go see trimudius likes it he already uh he's gonna pre-order probably hey regis I like your stream. Do, do, do. Follow them on time. Hey, Scylla. Thanks for the thousand bits. So my question, why are do, your streams do, do. and videos coming with such do a delay? Do we go ahead and fireball Less now or three. not? No, not yet. We still go face here. Make sure we have the setup. Uh, Scylla, thanks for the thousand bits. Oh my God. Uh, because I am merely one man and it takes a long time to process and edit uh, stream videos. Particularly when I've got a lot of main channel videos coming out. So, like, I did two main channel videos yesterday instead of doing a stream video. But I think I'll catch up tonight on stream videos, so. Starting tomorrow morning, you should see them now. To 
answer your question. And thanks for watching the stream videos. That's awesome. For the record, uh, it may not be easy for you, but you can always check out streams on Twitch, too. There are VODs on Twitch. If you want to head over to Twitch and watch the VOD, they're always there ASAP. Are you going to play New World at all? I don't think so. Uh, just from a time commitment standpoint, it's pretty intimidating. I need Reckless Apprentice, please. Talon. I think this has to get pinged, right? It's just a little too scary. Uh... I guess I'm just playing two of these. I can always fireball next turn to set up the Firelands portal the turn after, so just making the opponent deal with these, I guess, has some value. I mean, it does kind of lock me into a fireball next turn, but that should be okay, right? I don't know. Maybe I should play this now and tail and later. We'll see. We'll see. Shouldn't need to tail in though, right? Oh, God, I didn't actually notice that was done. Oh, God, I didn't realize that was done. Oh, shoot. Shoot, these are bigger than I thought. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I'm actually gonna die. 13, 14. So I have to clear a little bit here. I mean, I can. Is that eye for an eye ever? No. Surely not, right? No. It's oh my yog, probably, right? I have to clear a minion though. Oh shoot, I'm dead. So I can't go for lethal here. Cause it's gonna be oh my yog. Right? Where did it come? No, it came from it, it, no, it came from Blessed Goods, right? It doesn't have to be Omayag. I don't think it is, actually. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Um, do we think we're safe to go here? I think we have to, really. Oh, yeah, I'm alive if I play Talon, but I don't set up lethal next turn, right? I'm trying to set up the lethal. Well, if I'd known I was going to get a Fire Shaper ping face, we could have gone here for lethal next turn, but we don't know that. So we're dead. Eye <laughs> for an eye is brutal. You might say, well, why don't you test with Ignite to Eye for an eye? Because then I would be dead to the minions on board, right? They had 14. Which means I would have had to do something other than fireball face, which means I still wouldn't have set up the two-turn lethal, right? In every case, I was working to set up the two-turn lethal. Uh, hilt looks good. Uh, kind of like this. Freeze package, okay. This is a little too messy, I think. Panthara is good, but I like this better. Good spells, good freezes. We have a lot of freeze stuff going on. Okay! Oh, and two, you know what that means. We're going 12 and two. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Hearthstone deck tracker, yeah. HSP place. I guess most people don't know about this style. A lot of people ask like what deck tracker this is because they've never went to tweak the style. They think I have some like fancy secret deck tracker. <laughs> like we just has some top secret custom deck tracker made for him, but it's just HS replay. Yeah, another Quotalar would be cool. I don't actually know if it would be well, it'd be fine in this deck, of course. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, Dragon Affinity. Yikes. That's strong. If you build for this, it is such a ridiculously strong passive, right? Like, if you actually have dragons, it's probably the best tier 1 passive. If you think about, like, total net discount compared to other tier 1 passives, most of them, you know, have very, like, slow or like one time one one per turn discounts and stuff and this is just a universal discount now of course you have to have dragons if you don't have the dragons 
not as great, if, obviously, but man, if you if you lean into it, pretty cool. Okay, bookworm. Oh my God, dude, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm about to. I'm pretty sure I'm about to go. Uh, zero and three right now. I'm <laughs> pretty confident I'm going 0 3, guys. Uh, maybe that's the only dragon, though, you know? Maybe this is kind of their big thing. Because they just had the Draconic Studies, right? It's like uber discounted. Maybe we'll be okay from here. No Frost Spell. I really need to find a Reckless Apprentice, man. I feel like if we just had Reckless Apprentices, we would have won all of our games so far. Maybe not that Druid game, I guess. But I feel like for sure the Paladin game. <sighs> oh my god. These are free, right? Like, these are just going to be free. <laughs> Maybe not literally, but, you know. <laughs> More or less, they could easily be free. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to win. I have to go face, I think. I really need Reckless Apprentice. I just don't know. I don't, I'm not seeing it, man. I think we're going to lose. I like those pings going face. That's really good. Send more of those face, please. How much damage can I put together? This is six next turn. Eight. Leaves me with seven to go. Actually, I can do even more with Thanos. Oh my god. Oh, the heal eight? Like, come on! Where is Reckless Apprentice? It's all I need. Please kill something. Kill this, please. Ping it, ping it, ping it. Oh. Ah, oh, the heal eight. Oh my god. I'm so screwed. I'm obviously dead. It's Priest. We're going to do this again, obviously. Like, this run went as poorly as possible. I actually think our deck is fine. It's just... gotten beat up by heals and just not hitting the good cards in our deck. You think this is your time? Oh my god. Don't, don't kill this. I mean, dude, come on. And <laughs> I still don't have Reckless Apprentice. In three games, I didn't draw my best card. <sighs> well, I obviously can't win. What an unbelievably frustrating uh, game. Or run. I mean, just, I don't feel like we had a shot in any game, really. Maybe the Druid, or Paladin I could have cleared a little more, but that's just not how this deck works, you know? Great way to spend 150 gold. That really took the wind out of my sails. All right, I'm gonna concede a run. I did this off stream to get mage and I thought it'd be awesome and then clearly it wasn't. Um, if I don't get mage after this concede, I will... Um... We'll just play whatever we get, I guess. We'll just try something else on my list of fun stuff to do. I really do want to do Hero Power Mage, though, so. Why is this queue taking so long for game one? It's weird. 
You can retire the run? You can't until you play a game. <laughs> okay. Fun. I wonder if anybody's ever collected, like, has anybody ever tried to model out um, duels, like treasure offerings, based on your deck? I mean, there's people collecting data for it, like Firestone and uh, HS Replay. I wonder if they've ever tried to model it. Like, your odds of getting duels, treasures based... Ooh, mage, yes, let's go. Your odds of getting duels, treasures based on whatever, blah, 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 you know, sort of thing. I'm not going to build the exact same deck, but I'm going to keep it pretty close to what our last hero power deck was. I liked much of what we were doing. I, I wonder if I need a way to draw the Reckless Prince. I didn't really like Fallen Hero that much, by the way, or really even Mana Feeder Panthara. I think I can just run better cards. This might be the only hero power package we actually go for. Panthara was okay. I'll, I'll take a look at what else we think we can do. So I definitely didn't hate it. I just didn't think it was great. Like, you know, I might need like a Combustion. Maybe actually a Kona Cold is better because we're, we're decent at stalling in this deck, right? Into Mordrash stuff. Could run multiple stall cards to better support Mordrash. Kind of play it like old school Freeze Mage, right? Where we're concerned with damage outs, but also... Kind of playing some Freezy stuff. Given our hero power. I don't think Kaldara, it's just way too expensive. As we saw last game, we barely even get to turn 7 or 8 where it would be interesting. Welcome, boys. Make some room uh, in my heart, won't ya? Hey, my man. You beard looks stunning today. I don't even know if I like Blizzard, honestly. We have Frostweave? That makes some of these Frost spells more interesting too, right? Any other Frost cards that just feel really good? Frost Nova. Uh, a barrier might actually be decent. Hey, Miggle, do you think it's the three months, man? It's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Demented Frost Call. I forgot this card existed. That's a cool card. The artwork on that is so sick looking. It doesn't really even look like a Hearthstone character so much. It's one of those weird WoW characters. Uh, do we like a Frost Nova just to stall out our opponent? Maybe like a Glyph just to get a good card. Uh, we could do... Like a Devolving Missiles kind of interesting. Flurries kind of interesting. Yeah, I like Varden okay. I think that's interesting. Hey, thanks, Miggle, dude. That's nice. Uh, if I wanted to play in competitive Hearthstone, what would be my first step? It, it wouldn't be to ask me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your first step would to be would be to ask a, 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 a different content creator how to do it, because I don't know. Sorry, I don't have a better answer for you. Maybe that 3-2 that improves hero uh, I, power. I just cut the 3-2. I didn't like it last time. It just didn't seem like it mattered. Kind of like Frost Nova and Combustion. Right? That's what I was thinking. Frost Nova for Frost Spells. It just gives me time into Mordrush, you know? The idea is, like, I'm going to lock down the board, lock down the board... Lock down the board, and then I'll clear it with more dress. So, so playing this a little bit more stall, but still maintaining plenty of damage. I might just take like a glyph, right? Oh, I did want wand maker. I didn't add wand maker. I do like wand maker a lot. Hold up. Wand maker is a pretty good way for us to get wildfires, extra wildfires. I like this. I don't really like firebrand that much. I feel like it's. Weirdly sort of expensive for what it does. Because you have to have another card with it, right? So we're talking about four to five mana to deal four damage. I don't I don't think it's really worth it. I'd rather just stall out into a more dress. Oh, I did cut Talon though. Maybe I dropped that blizzard. Maybe I dropped that 
Uh, studies I could drop. Missiles I could drop. I like the damage off missiles, though. Isn't Talon too slow? I didn't really feel like that last time. He is taunt, so he's pretty disruptive. And if I'm stalling everybody out every turn, I, I need to get to more Dresher. It's not worth it, right? If I don't have... If I don't have the Mordresh, all the stalls are pointless. I have to get to the point where Mordresh matters. So. <laughs> what do I cut, though? Primordial Studies, maybe? Ignite, maybe? I'm going to cut the Ignite. I should really have enough... Um, should really have enough uh, damage. Ignites get shuffled back into the deck, and then me and I draw worse stuff, right? So let's go. Do, 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 do. All right, drew it again, man. Bad matchup. I don't like quest druids. Stop. Oh, this might be different though. This is uh, treant stuff. Ooh, we'll keep apprentice in that case for sure. Plans cannot compare. Uh, we'll get rid of Talon and make sure we have some early game. Either him or Mordrish will come back. We're so early in a run that we're very likely to hit our cards anyway. If this was game three, we might have to keep the Talon. Okay, this seems fine. <laughs> Good stalls. Hey, John Tron, doing pretty well. No, Janelai's not in duel, sadly. Mm -hmm. uh, wildfire off the top would be great. I'd take a wand. Any one drop really would be ideal. Might just tempo a shard if not. Without the hero power uh, being bumped. It's not like I really need to push for more dress yet. This will catch us up too maybe, so. Runic Egg, he's going to hero power that. Should I try to kill the Runic Egg so he can't hero power it? Or should I just let him hero power the Runic Egg if he wants? Can clear one of them with a shard anyway. I feel like I'm just going to hit it, right? I lose a little face damage, but we're playing towards Mordresh for sure now with Talon. So we don't need anything other than to get him to 19. So, brother almost would use this on a tutu that pops out, so that he has to spend his mana. Could we kill his turn two? No, because he has coin. I'm actually just gonna play this because if he spends the two mana, I'm actually sort of okay with it. I think. Uh, basically, it means he's probably not coining into something scarier or worse, and I'll catch up anyway. So, okay, still gonna coin. Value trade and then coin. That's pretty good. I gotta say. That's a good way to use the coin. But again, this should catch us up. We can go on a gold in the meantime. Would love to squeeze in a wildfire, though. Or a wand. Oh, Mordresh is already in hand. Okay. Do you keep pinging these, or do you play more stuff? I don't know. It's like a slight heal, and you get an extra one. It's not bad. It's like two mana summon a 2-2 and heal a dude. You got the 1-1 one, one too, yeah. Hit that, I guess. Okay. Uh, pretty not awesome Reckless without a buff. So maybe we Kona Cold for now and ping one of the 2-2s. Two or excuse me, Frost Nova for now. Ping a 2-2. Two -two. Set up for Reckless into Blizzard. Yeah, we're definitely playing this so much more like a... Uh, <laughs> like a freeze mage. It's kind of wild how different it feels. I would sure love to see a wand or wildfire. Please. Gonna leave up three minions otherwise. Well, I guess two. Oh, God. Oh, I need Blizzard, man. What is this draw? A wand maker? That's sort of funny. Uh... 
I'm going to die if I play this is the problem, right? I have Blizzard, but I don't have a way to lock down the board on turn 7 to stall into Mordresh, basically, right? Ugh, no wander wildfire, man. Does this do anything meaningful for me? Not really. Doesn't change reckless ever, so I'm probably better off pinging, right? Ugh. More Gonna have won't so many active. idiot two ones here too, but it's fine. Mordrush won't be active? Oh, it'll totally be active. I can take a By turn eight, what do you mean? It's 100% almost active here. I'm gonna be dead, but <laughs> it'll be active. Hopefully I don't burn a wildfire. Bum bum bum. Do do do. He's got one left, so. But I think I'm dead is the problem. Uh, no, I was planning to play Talon into Blizzard. Oh, Talon into Blizzard, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would not leave Mordrush active for sure. I guess unless on seven you you used uh the reckless instead. <sighs> I maybe should have frostbolted that guy, guys. I don't know. I'm sorta of regretting it. I thought I could catch up, but the power of the wild buff just ruined that plan. I think we would have if not for Power of the Wild. Oh! Hello, Robe! Okay, that's pretty good. Alrighty. We take those. Ooh, this is good too! Yes! Frost indeed, let's go. Ice block. I would have drawn one maker for you. Yeah, it went great. Last run, we couldn't get the right side of it either. We kept getting uh, wand makers, but no reckless apprentices. I swear to God, if we ever get a game where we get both, we're going to be in business. Business. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spell damage at base is nice. You know, I think this deck would be so much better if we, did, if we didn't have to play for Mordresh. We did this in the past all the time, but we never played for Mordresh. We just, you know, played for crazy hero powers, and it felt pretty good, honestly. Now that we're trying to play for Mordresh, I feel like it's worse. I just don't know if Mordresh is swinging enough. I need double battle cries or something. Rocket backpacks. Okay, that is definitely not a problem for us. We really don't even have minions, so. Rocket backpacks, pretty chill. Wildfire's great. That wand maker giving me a second wildfire is going to be even greater. Heist block is awesome, too, because we can guarantee a more dress turn and minus any, you know, disruption, obviously. Aelin looks good. This is another wildfire. Thank you, Wandmaker. Called it. Totally got it right. You guys are crazy if you think otherwise. Ancient Mysteries ping next turn. Looks good. Whichever secret's fine. Block is cool. Oh my god, ropes of protection. What? <laughs> I don't really love that, but I'm not gonna like stress about it because I really just want to go face anyway, right? I mostly care about going face. Wild Just set up for the Mordresh now. In the we always get, if we get Talon, we always seem to hard draw Mordresh. Never once actually needed Talon. Wildfire does have images in the mirror. Okay. Let's, we'll count it. Close enough. <laughs> We are never going to clear their board until more trash, but that's fine. That's how it goes. Ooh, wand is cool. Uh, Actually, no. Let's get wand going, right? Mm -hmm. I hope I have enough stall here between barrier and... Uh, 
Nova and everything. I got to ping twice more now with this up, and then more Jesh is good to go. So on five and six, I can ping seven. I'll uh, I'll be able to more Jesh with coin. They'll be at twelve still, so I actually technically need to find a little more damage than I currently have. Hopefully, we can put that together. They grab a secret that could be a bit of a pickle. I think they're gonna take a minion though. Ugh. I just don't want to lose out on uh well my yag. Uh, we'll just use this frost bolt then, that's fine. Let's see where they do here. Where they do? I don't think that's a word. Let's see what they do. Okay, so next turn we can ping and Nova and Barrier. Or whatever, not both, but one of the two. Whatever feels better. And then we'll have more dress on seven. We know that's not an Omayag, oh so. Oh! Shoot! Okay. It's actually a big pickle. Need like a fireball now to outrace that, maybe? You got actual healing in your deck, bro. Like, <sighs> that is unheard of. Fireball. What did I say about fireball? I said it was a good plan. So I'm no, almost never dead. They're gonna heal only three, hopefully, which is not enough to stop more Dresh. Guess if they do heal a bunch, we can still hopefully just clear the board. That shouldn't be a problem. Bear off is fine. We're alive. That's not an ice block, right? So we should be good to go. Cool. Perfect. Exactly the plan for this deck. That was awesome. Precisely what we wanted. Rag would be a problem from that weapon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I could use this on more trash. Um, oh, would Rag have been a lethal actually? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Did he have lethal with Rag? I didn't count it. Uh, <laughs> this could be a more trash, but it could also just be a reckless apprentice, which is kind of insane. No, he could also heal with the other Rag. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, Rag Light, uh, Red Light Lord, yeah. Could have been a problem, I guess. Really wouldn't have been too big a problem, though, because Mordrish still would have cleared the board and set us up very nicely. Just not a lethal. Uh, I don't know. Mask is kind of sneaky and, like, kind of greedy. I don't think that's really very really good, actually. I think Necrotic Poison's our best bet. Just a removal. Another good spell to remove with. Sidekick, I don't know. We're just not that good with minions. Okay, here's more freeze. This is a wild little set. I kind of like this better in a weird way. Uh, I know we're we're in a freeze world, but I like that this has two discovers baked in. This is also kind of a you know card draw slash removal card, so it has a little bit of flexibility. Keep in mind we have uh, spell damage by default, so. Fire sale is actually like old school flame strike almost as far as clearing boards is concerned. And I think I like the flexibility here a little more. Two discovers, but so. one of them is never wildfire. It's never wildfire. It's also never fireball, which sucks. I think it'll still be okay though. Plenty of interesting cards to work with. I think this is just a little too locked into the frost plan. This gives us more flexibility and more sort of agency over our deck because of the discovers and the tradable, right? Of course, it's great. To have frost consistency, but <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, who said we never had any minions in chat? In regards to Mask of Mimicry, we, <laughs> we have like a ton of minions always because of the hero power. Too many often, I would argue. Okay, this is actually a, a, a pretty decent curve. Wand on one into hero power arcane on two. And I like having the ice block as well for whenever, I don't know. Particularly with Talon, because I know I'm going to have a Mordrush later. Currently, it's kind of cool, because if we draw Mordrush, this does still get me a Reckless Apprentice, which is pretty baller. Ooh, scary. Might need an Ice Block. Hopefully, we win before that's relevant, but you never know. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Talon is actually going to lose his shield. That's pretty sad. This guy also has a ton of armor gain, which sucks. Yeah, this game might be hard. This, this, all this armor, right, is not... Great for us. Wardresh is not 30 damage. He's only 10. So, yeah, we'll see. Ice Block also doesn't beat bombs, unfortunately. This, I wish he didn't have this hero power, right? We'd be much happier campers. And it seems like they're just not going to be playing that many, like, aggressive cards. So, all of our stall cards may not really be that impactful. Can we please? Ugh, oh, I'm going to hit face twice. I don't actually care about the minion. I just wanted him to lose armor in case he didn't have more. He might have more and it won't matter, but you never know. The widow embraces me. Oh, whoa. Okay. It's kind of an annoying dude. Three bombs in the deck already. Ooh, we love wildfire though. That's good news. Guess I just let him have the attack for now. I don't know. I forgot that died. <laughs> so good. I, got, I can't. I obviously should have just hero powered. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's all falling apart, dude. <laughs> I can't win this game anymore, right? There's like no way. There's no way. Okay, did it a frost spell? That's actually really good news. Um, whatever. I'll kill that minion later. I don't know. I took an extra bomb and lost uh, three damage, sort of two damage, because this wand will eventually go away anyway. But pretty much three damage. I can take the hit. Uh, okay, let me freeze. That's cool. Can freeze face here and uh Ooh, fancy. I don't really need to play Talon yet, but I think it's okay if I do, right? Do I use coin to get more damage through, I guess is the question while I can or not? I just don't think I'm going to get to a Mordresh at a relevant point. Maybe I wait, right? I don't think it's time yet. Yeah, I like this better. Talon can be better next turn. Actually gonna let that attack in case it wants to go face to proc the barrier because that's a net gain for me because otherwise he may not really ever hit face much oh god okay okay sweet that worked out well he's gonna let me free his face again huh he didn't even attack this that's cool I like that a lot so I can go Nova here, or I can set up for Talon into coin. I just don't know if he's going to kill this. I guess he will, because it's going to lose its shield. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we take some damage here, but we shouldn't be dead, necessarily. Then hopefully Mordrush clears the board. And... 
Hopefully that's enough. I don't know. I'm taking six here. That's that's pretty bad. So I'm at 15. That's a three bomb out with eight bombs in the deck. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, interesting. He must have a... Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. This is too much damage left up. I didn't want to have to kill it because Mordresh handles it, right? But it's just... I think it took too much. It's going to take a magic no bomb out here to... To win. Okay, that's not a bomb. Okay, this is done, right? I didn't even check, but I just assumed. So, I mean, theoretically, right, Mordresh attacking is lethal here in combination with whatever other stuff, too, I guess. Uh, ice, remember, Ice Block doesn't help me against bombs. It only helps me against damage on his turn. So putting up an Ice Block doesn't really change the bombs. If he has a lethal from a card in hand, obviously it changes things, but doesn't save me from bombs, so. Don't need to, like, push for the ice block really hard or anything. That's a problem. I think I needed the 8 damage. Now my deck is, like, half bombs. And I died. Cool. Yeah, Meek Mastery is tier 2. Ugh. Tough game. It's close. Minus the enormous misplay. I actually liked our line there. Just lost a three damage. I don't think it would have mattered. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even care. We're all in. I mean, Battle Totem is what we talked about with Mordress, right? Like, it's pretty cool. It's good with Wandmaker, good with Pandaren. I guess I take the battle totem. It's I, I don't know. Like Book of Wonders is pretty meme too. They're both kind of meme because because of the Mordresh battle totem synergy, right? I guess I'm gonna take battle totem. We we have a couple very powerful plays for it, right? Oh, intriguing. This is not, not it. I'm just intrigued by the battle cries. Here's a couple interesting double battle cries as well. Primordial Protector, a little slow. Don't love, I like the Blizzard, but I don't like the Molten or the Arcane Intellect. I think I take the battle cries, weirdly enough. Not what I was expecting, but slow cost plays, they do stuff. This game's going to be tough, though, man. We, uh... I don't know. We're not we're not swinging as hard as I need to. Well, I mean, I guess technically we swung that time, but oh, the Kirby trailer's out. I didn't watch it yet. Oh well, that looks pretty sick. I will fight every teacher here if I have to. You look suspicious. Oh man, that looks fun. Ooh, okay, okay. Double bottle cry reckless is really nice. Let's keep Rune Dwarf for a little bit of flexibility. Oh, man, Crick as well. What a curve. I'm going to have so many... <laughs> I have so many shards in hand. I, I know so many of you still want the other hero power, but I, I still think I like this cheaper hero power way better. Think about how much extra damage we've done because of this hero power being cheap, right? Like, yes, of course, I'd rather have mana worms than ice shards, but it's the fact that this is one mana that's made it so interesting, I think. Uh, let's just go for a secret. This is a very powerful play. Rune Dorb we can save for later, right? I do wish Rune Dorb was going to find me a wildfire. Could. It's possible. Oh, whoa. Just ripping a field contact already. Okay, maybe I am playing a Rune Dorb? I feel like this can't live. More Dresh in hand. Uh, mana biscuits, like, kind of helpful. Not really all that helpful because of the refresh aspect. In other words, it doesn't really help with Mordresh a ton. But Mordresh is very powerful because I it's 20 damage, right? So I only need to get them to 20 to make Mordresh a lethal out. We're going to play Reckless, so I didn't feel like clearing these, I guess. It's my logic. I don't know. Take it or leave it. That's going to put our hero power in Mordresh territory, basically, already. You may need one or two more, depending on what gets played here, but... 
Okay, sadly I don't have enough to clear those three health minions. Do we ever like Cone of Cold better so they don't damage me? Yeah, let's just do a Cone of Cold. Um, we're in no real hurry here. So this is better at clearing those out. And then we can Blizzard the turn after, of course. And then we're pretty much good to go for more trash, right? Oh, Shadow Step? Oh, just to get quest procs, okay. I've never really seen anybody play quest rogue a lot in duels. This is cool. Uh, again, Reckless is not good enough. I need Wildfire, please. Wildfire, please. I mean, I'll take it. It's not terrible or anything. It's just not, not great. My hand is going to be full of dudes. So I think I'm going to do something weird here. Um, oh, no, that won't help, will it? Oh, it will help. No, it won't help. Never mind. There's going to be five dudes. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. The more important thing is that Mordresh gets finished, which is what is going to happen, obviously. So... So many dudes. So basically I blizzard on six. I need something to do on seven. Uh, I hit here or just go face? I think we just go face, right? We need to make sure they're at 20. Or at least if not at 20, like close so that we can win maybe the turn after more dress, right? That's the goal. I need something to do on seven and I'm not going to be drawing a card this turn. So I need to figure that out. Join. Assuming I... Well, I may not need to play a Blizzard, I guess. We'll see. Might be able to get away with a different play. Seems like Blizzard will be relevant, but who knows. An Ice Block would be the perfect out, but... Uh, sadly, we didn't hit an Ice Block. Bum, bum, bum. I mean, we'll get one more card for turn seven off the blizzard. We'll burn one here, but then going into seven, we'll see a new card. So maybe that'll make a difference. What makes Chandis. Oh, that's totally fine. Oh. Uh, maybe less fine. That's kind of scary. Do I just need to kill that, perhaps, so it doesn't get it doesn't get in my way. I don't know, because I also need damage, right? Uh, I mean, I guess it's the same difference if this heals. Do we think it's going to heal? There's a Blink Fox. It could. It could. I better kill it. I don't know. Again, Mordress doesn't actually have to lethal, right? It just clears the board and develops an 8-8. That's often good enough. and deals 20. I can find the 5 somewhere else off a of Fireball or whatever, right? Okay, so... Uh... Best draw here would be like Ice Block or Fire Sail or, oh, I don't know, Rune Orb even. It's a lot of good draws. Barriers, probably okay. Talon. Yeah, we could maybe get a Mancrick in there. Sure. Could go uh, Mana Biscuit, Biscuit, Wandmaker just to get a hand space for Wandmaker as well. That's pretty gross. I mean, I'm at 30. I'm not super worried, but still a little gross. Missiles, huh? Yeah, I'm going to just waste this so that I have hand space for the double battle cry on the wand maker here. Uh... You don't pick the wand. It's kind of silly, but it doesn't hurt, right? What I can think of, anyway. Okay, this is actually pretty solid with Mancrick, and we'll just uh, rip an Arcane Missiles, or maybe we'll just ping, actually. Yeah, let's just ping. With our minions on board here, that sets up the 25. Wardrush is good to go. If they clear these two minions, of course, whatever, that's fine. Again, we'll just hope that, you know, we get there on a future turn with Missiles or whatever. Okay, so one minion's dead. 
He has scabs, which we're going to clear, which is great. He's going to have a, a you know, significant reload turn after this clear, but... Uh, oh, he can't push the Mordrush back in hand for a turn. He might have to just to stay alive, and then I can do it again in, in two turns time, right? That would be pretty wild. Uh, wait, why are all these zero? Oh, because of the Apprentice. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's a cool play. Wait, why was this one zero? Oh, Inspiring Presence got it. That's why. Okay. All right. Well, this is certainly a Mordresh. 20 damage Mordresh. Let's go. That's so sick and broken, dude. I'm glad we took Battle Totem. I didn't think we'd actually get this off. Oh, yeah. That's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was really fun. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think it's bag of stuffing, right? Our hands are basically always full of the garbage uh, elementals, so we can't really get a lot of value out of bag of stuffing, probably. Canopic jars is actually sort of cool with all the elementals, but it's just so expensive at five mana. I think I'm going to take Feoris's blade just to have, like, damage outs. Uh, I don't love hitting minions in this list, technically. Because I'm usually, like, on the back foot, kind of. And I'm, like, freezing minions and stuff. <sighs> Maybe I do just take the jars. I don't know. <sighs> they all seem really bad. I mean, I have some cheap minions I can play with jars. Blade is plus three damage. It, it sort of is, but it's it, it's five mana for, for, for three. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there will ever be a point in a game where five mana for three damage feels particularly compelling. Wouldn't I almost rather spend that mana on anything? Yeah, I would almost, yeah, I would almost honestly pass. If there was, like, a no thank you button, I think I would hit it. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I take it, but they all suck. It's the only one that even sort of theoretically connects to my deck. Hmm. I would almost always take no more please, but I'm actually fairly intrigued by this. I guess it doesn't have quite enough card draw, though. Yeah, maybe not. No, we'd probably still take this. We want to make sure we had Talon and, and Mordresh stuff. That's our power. We don't want to hide our power behind other cards more than we have to. Mozaki <laughs> versus Fireheart. I won't go easy on I just Ooh, like early wildfire is spicy good. Okay, love it. <sighs> Barrier against shaman actually might be pretty relevant. They do attack quite a bit. They have spell damage too, but we'll keep the barrier. Yeah, this is a fine curve. Okay. Freezes against shaman are very powerful too, usually. Ooh. Thought it was going to be a mirror match for a second. Discs isn't such a problem. I think we killed that, right? Kind of spooky. Good wildfire. Watch wildfire. Do we ever play a shard on two or do we stick to the Pandaren on two? It's a debate, I'd say. I think I played a shard, though. Believe it or not. We don't really need the spell or know what we need yet, so. Let's go. Hey, are we actually going to get to attack with a shard? I think this is the first first time. <laughs> first time ever we've attacked with a shard. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. 
could play this out to try to like sus um sus out like a secret eating type card, but I don't think it's worth the trouble. Man, they are playing this game so slow right now. Do I need to kill that? Probably, right? Not technically, but it doesn't hurt. Oh, I think I take the pyro. I should have plenty of removal otherwise, so let's just take the pyro. Make sure we have more damage later. In case more dresh or whatever doesn't get there, we can't find a more dresh. Let's just increase our damage outs. Raz? Raz is... Ho oh, double Raz. Oh my god, that's so busted, dude. Holy crap, that's so busted. Uh, oh my god, that's so busted. Uh, I gotta kill these. They're gonna murder me if I don't. Uh, sucks, though. Double rats is so good. It's four free damage. Jeez. Ugh, that sucks. That is not what I wanted to have to deal with. Yeah, that's the first good Discs of Legend play I've seen in a while. I feel like Discs of Legend used to be much better for some reason, but I haven't seen it lately at all. <sighs> whack on old. Okay, shame I didn't have a barrier up with these minions out. It's like, I may not get a lot of more chances, honestly. That actually made my math on Rune Door ping a little better, weirdly. <laughs> it's like, I don't really mind too much. I was gonna deal that anyway. Like, yeah, they got extra damage, it sucks, but it's okay. Hmm, mask again uh, for major damage, or we just take some removal here? I'm thinking I actually need to take the removal, maybe. Playing this game in a weird way right now. Mask hits for 11, that puts them at 22. I'm scared they're going to play more big stuff, right? I don't know, they have a lot of damage, but they also have minions. It's hard to know for sure. What other legendaries might they have? Fireheart. I just, I, I guess I have a Frost Nova. Maybe I don't do that. Maybe I take the damage. Yeah, I need to stick to my plan. I have a plan and I'm not sticking to it. So that's, I, I don't know. I got to find the damage and we'll get more Dresh and then we'll be happy yeah. we took this, right? That's my thought. I have Ice Block too, right? So I, if I can create like a break point where I just win at some point, like an Ice Block, you know, buys me that extra turn or whatever, I think we'll be okay. Oh god, their damage output right now is outrageous! Stop! Please stop! I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Mask is, uh... Sort of good here, but sort of risky too, right? Uh... Six damage showing there. I would feel a lot better about the mask if I could also ping, right? But this also doesn't really feel like the time to barrier either. All right, I'm gonna take the risk. I just hope it pays off. I'm closing my eyes. Please kill this. No way. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Perfect. Clear boat. That was the dream scenario. Okay. Mask actually ended up being better than Meteor there. At clearing the board and dealing a little bit of extra damage, right? That was kind of cool. We got five. We cleared that board. Still set up with our Frost Nova. Uh, I don't know if we're ready for more dress yet, but we've got the mana. So that's a good start. Got to be careful with shards now, though. Or my hand's going to get too full. Tidal, we drew both of our secrets prior to Ancient Mysteries. That's always tough. God, the damage output right now is just bonkers. Stop! You're hitting me too hard. I have things you never knew you wanted. You never knew you wanted. Oh, I'm burning this. Oh, I didn't even realize. Shoot. Shoot. That's a boo-boo. Okay, we're gonna Frost Nova on a future turn, right? So. Oh, maybe I play this? 
Does it change any of my outs, really? <laughs> Not really. Job done. But maybe something we can't see yet. All right, 28. Got a mountain to climb here still. They are getting light on cards, but man, I'm hoping they're running out of damage. Petual flame. Oh boy. That is brutal. Oh god, I am getting low. I need apprentice or fire sale or something better than I got. More trash soon. Before my ice block goes away. Oh my god, Fireheart. They didn't even open with a Fireheart? What if you just get Perpetual Flame of Fireheart? Oh, that's fine. All this is getting Frost Oven, hopefully, anyway. Oh my god! What if you just got per I don't know why you don't open with Fireheart. What if you get Perpetual Flame? You can still choose the Perpetual Flame at the end of your turn. I'm missing something? <gasps> oh, baby. This is not what we stood for. Okay, if I can protect my block here and they kill the Talon, they don't hex it. I'm going to deal 20 and protect the block, which means I'll have the Pyroblast, but I have to be able to protect the block here. Oh, uh, if they kill the block, I can't win. Okay, that's a good start. What is that? They're going to kill the block, seriously? Oh my god, how much damage is in their deck? That's five lightning bolts? There's still a chance they don't have the final four, though. Well, oh, I got... What? No! <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. I got... Primordial Protector. I didn't even realize that was a possibility now. Oh! What a 50-50, dude. What a 50-50, bro. Cool. This is going to give them another lightning bolt to kill me, so that's great. Wait. Oh, yeah, this is broken. I don't get the double battle cry anymore. It's broken. I read that. I read that. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild stuff. Okay. I mean, technically I'm alive, especially if this dies. This dies. Nice. Okay. I'm probably dead to that one maker giving him the sixth lightning bolt. Or maybe the fifth. I don't know how many, but you know. Oh, I'm so dead. So what if I top deck more dress though, guys? Wouldn't that be the ultimate justice? You don't pick the one. Don't please give me a one break. Oh my god, you want to talk about getting 17 freaking rolls at lethal, man? <sighs> okay, that's not lethal. Mordresh is lethal if I can top deck it like a god. Like a god. No, oh, come on, dude. Oh, that's not lethal. Okay, hold up. I'm at one. Oh, Blizzard, dude. That's not lethal either. This is 16. If I'd had a minion live there, would have been pretty sick. Four plus Blizzard. Can't play that. Let's make magic. I mean, again, I am technically alive. Had one health. Job done. And I, if any minion lives, I have lethal. <laughs> oh my god. It, <laughs> I mean, you assume those other cards aren't damaged or they would have killed me. But is the top card damage? It's probably Lightning Bolt 5. Forked Lightning, that means I don't have lethal without Mordrash. Man crook. You can draw a fire sale. 
I mean, do I just Pyroblast to set up the hero power lethal next turn, I guess, right? Like, make them have it? Just make them top deck it, right? Why not? I can't play anything any defensive anyway, so... Let's just make them have it, dude. One card here to get it, I guess. Could you repeat that? That's not inherently a problem. Actually, that's good, because it means they don't have lethal. Because none of these cards were lethal. That doesn't matter. Do they have any healing? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have it. Oh my god. What a win. What a win. Oh, literally one health. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Actually insane. You know what, too? If they hadn't played Perpetual Flame first, imagine they could have won, right? They could have won. Huh. Huh. Okay. Uh, do we like Holy Book? Or a little slow, maybe. A little slow, probably. Henchman's just kind of free. We'll take Henchman. He's just a free card you get, right? Mm. Wow, I don't want any of these. I literally don't want any of these. This is the best, I guess. We'll actually get some Mana Worms. A BM'd and lost brother. Uh, well, GG. What? How did you BM? What do you mean? Did you have a player on the ice block? Oh, you did. Yeah, you're right. You you BM uh, lightning bolted the Talon. Yeah, you're right. You could have. Uh... Well, I don't know. You. Still would have hit the block, but I guess it would have been at three, you're saying? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that might have made all the difference, actually, yeah, now that you say that. Uh, okay. I don't actually want the secrets. I want to make sure they're in the deck for that, uh, that other guy. Frostweed and Wildfire, though, are pretty baller. I hate this hero power, though. We need to go quick, quick, quick in this matchup. Uh, Wildfire is good to have, certainly with Mordresh coin as well. We are uh, setting a wicked pace here, potentially. Caltrips and Battle Totem, okay. <laughs> I don't coin, right? We hold coin for Mordresh. That's 20 damage in a board clear. Like, we gotta hold coin for those power plays. Next turn, wand, hero power, and just start rolling. Frostweave on three, maybe. Or maybe we hero power every turn, right? Depends on armor, perhaps, where they're at on armor and stuff, but... I definitely want damage, too, for the big boy here. The big 20. Frostweave draws two, which is very good, but I think we'll still hold it till turn four. Uh, ooh, that needs to die, though. Kind of needs to die, doesn't it? Ugh. Don't really want to kill it. It's the sad thing because it's rather hard to kill. I got this. Sucks. Just too much armor gain if I don't, right? That's really annoying though. Uh, but I can like Kona Cold it. I'm assuming it won't actually trade. So we'll play Kona Cold, Hero Power, Face next turn. Something like that. Yeah, good point. Yeah, this didn't interact with this. It will, of course, next turn, but uh, because I left it alive. Well, well, yeah, it's, I didn't ping the armor off, so. Oh, they didn't take the trade. They really want to protect here. Okay. I dig it. I get it. Works out well for us, though, because of the Cone of Cold here. We get to pr proc off the armor, too. Pop off the armor, not proc. Pop. Pop off the armor. Frostweave's gonna overflow my hand if I'm not careful. Because of all these freaking ice shards again. 
I still may I know so many of you get triggered by the ice shards, I can tell, but I still maintain it's better to have the cheap hero power and the dead cards in hand. And technically they've been okay from time to time. They aren't inherently awful. They're just not great. If they were one mana, they'd be busted, which I think is is that what it was before? Like this got nerfed, I remember, but I don't remember why or how. I don't know the details of that. Of that nerfening. Ooh, we like this a lot. Yeah, they Barrier. were one mana before. They were one mana? I can see why that would be super OP. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot again. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, you, they are useless in this matchup. Okay, I take it back. They're hot garbage, obviously. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... I have to play many of them at once, right, to make it worth it. Oh, it's a lot of armor. This is going to be hard to win, guys, I'm realizing. It's going to be really hard to win. So many bombs. So much armor. Like, Mordrush isn't good when there's this much armor, you know? How do I win? I just don't, I don't know how to get there. I need to get two of these somehow. How on earth do I get two of these? Where is your mask of mimicry now? I need a way to get two. At least we denied the crash. That's pretty cool. No frenzy. Yeah, Mask of Mimicry would be handy, I guess. Yeah. Maybe this lives and I just hit hard enough here with like rune orbs and, and fireballs and stuff, but I have a lot more stall and a lot less damage. We're kind of trusting that Mordresh is enough, and frankly, he's not really enough. I mean, maybe it lives. I don't know. Maw of Cthune is what answered it against the last Cthune warrior that was just so efficient, well, but orb can it's less and less likely the deeper the in a run we get as more and more cards are in the deck. True, if it lives, I could go for Potion of Illusion. Oh my god, yeah, that would be nuts. That would be a lethal next turn. Does it ever live? It might. I don't know, it might. Oh my god, I think it's gonna live. Is there a Coerce, maybe? Oh my god, if I actually get Potion of Illusion off this because you called it... I'm going to be the happiest boy in school. Uh, oh. Oh my, oh my god, duplicate? I have to, right? I have to. Oh, please kill it, dude. Like, you can't leave it 8 3 alive, bro. procs in one game <laughs> oh god I can't believe it I could devolve missiles this first but I shouldn't really need to I don't think they'll be that scary particularly with the Mordrush coming next turn I could ping maybe if one's small enough this one probably will be Oh, that can be pinged, yeah. Wow, what garbage results. What utter garbage. <laughs> he got two one-elf minions. Good God. This poor guy could not be having a worse day right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that is something. <laughs> 60 damage more dredges. Oh boy. Wow. Is that the best rune orb in history? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. That's an awesome turn normally. Oh, well, wait, why did he? Oh, he rankered. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's not, maybe not that awesome, I guess. The fleet off was good, though. More dress number three. So crazy. <laughs> that makes you. Is duplicate a card you can run? I mean, that would never lines up right. Like, that's. That never happens. You can't count on that happening ever. Oh, uh, sure. These are probably our best bet. Again, I don't totally, totally love them, but yeah, they're fine. Kona Cold's really good. Frostbolt's pretty good, too. Okay. Yeah, this run kind of got saved, honestly. I, uh... I wasn't expecting much there. <laughs> Those last two games, though, were pretty darn amazing. Those were some of the coolest games we've had in a while. I gotta say. Oh, Zaki. Hey, Beacons, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. We don't need any of these. These are all bad. You can still discover them, but not run them. Oh, true. Yes, we know duplicates in there, right? Because we discovered it. Yeah, yeah. Has to be, yeah. The discover pool is determined by the deck building pool, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a fine hand, actually. Some good stuff here. Good battle cries. Good ancient mysteries. Fire shaper and party replacement. Ugh. Party replacement. So good still to this day. It's an ultra rare now, too. I wonder if he had this run before the um, patch or if he just got lucky. One of the two, of course. Uh, let's try to snipe it, honestly. Nice. Gonna have a lot of these to deal with, unfortunately, but... Next turn, I'll go man quick. Try to hit those Olgras early. That would be a major swing in this game. Hero power not being upgraded means not a lot of value there, I guess, yet. Barriers are going to be good here, and blocks are going to be potentially good, too, depending, of course. Ooh. That's good, but I'll use it next turn because... I don't really have a great place to send a ping at the moment. If that wasn't stealthed, of course, I would wildfire, but... Let's just try to get some Olgras. Like, I need to hire all these Olgras maybe to win. You know, it's very unlikely. It's basically 1 in 15 to get one of them. But you never know. Could be the difference between winning and losing. And Frostweave actually draws spells specifically, so that actually increases our odds slightly to hit an Olgra. In some ways, I actually would prefer their Frost spells, of course, than, than Olgras, but probably not. I think I'd take the 3-7 still. <laughs> I think that would still be a net victory. Uh, can't kill that, right? So I guess that means we just frost weave, yeah. Olgras. Oh, not Olgras, but a very good board development. Wow. Okay. That's a sick play. Don't have swipe. Don't have swipe. Don't have swipe. Don't have swipe. Oh God, he top decked the swipe. He top decked the swipe, guys. He top decked the swipe. I want to make that very clear. That was not in the hands. That was a top deck. Gross. God. Oh, that top deck swipe. So gross. I 
I'm going to have trouble staying alive this game. Like, it's going to take me forever to win, and part of your placements are just going to grind me down. I need some big plays. Okay, Talon does make four big plays. Uh, I don't actually have to do it yet, though. We can do other stuff in the meantime. We need it soon. Maybe next turn. But now Hero Power farms the... Uh, since I finally got the Wildfire in. But I need to start using Hero Power, of course, because now I got a, a Mordresh incoming. Some point. Now how do I make a duplicate? <laughs> I need to figure out a duplicate. <laughs> how do I find the dupe? Uh, you know, I've never drawn Necrotic Poison. We got that on like the second or third game, right? I guess the third game. And I never, I've not seen it once in my hand. I just realized. That's crazy. Nicely seasoned min balls. How are you? What? What? I am an actual prophet. What on earth? That's crazy. I'm an actual god. How did I? How did I call that? That's that's actually crazy. I think I've done four damage to the hero power, so I don't think I'm gonna have more just ready unless I hit exactly a, a reckless apprentice soon. I, I I haven't drawn reckless apprentice in a really long time. It would be great to draw a reckless apprentice. It's been such a long time. Oh, am I gonna burn? Actually, it would be great to draw a reckless apprentice. Sadly, this divine shield means I don't. Uh, Proc on this. Oh my god, he's got double quest. That's actually sick in this deck. Wow, we're gonna frostbolt face, of course. Um, probably gonna play a henchman. Set up for the Mordresh the turn after. Four, six. I need the hero power actually, so I can't play the mini mage yet. Which does make my curve a little less exciting. But I really need to freeze face here because he wants to play Guff, right? And I really need to ping to get closer to Mordresh. Well, I want to play the big guy here to be disruptive. Okay, four left. Still basically need two turns. I can Necrotic Poison Guff itself. I'm just trying to deny that eight damage from the, from the Guff, right? It's double quest. We had that for Warrior, remember? For for uh, yesterday, I guess. You remember that yesterday, so it's so long ago. <laughs> Starfire for seven. Wow, what a baller. Pandaren draws two, so that's kind of uh, overloading the hand a little bit too much. But I can do this now. Uh, ignites are good later. Don't need the flame geyser, so. Okay, ignites are good later. That's what I said. You heard it. I don't have a face freeze here, unfortunately. So Guff will hit for eight. That'll be denied by the barrier more or less, but... Uh, Yesterday, it is no different than ten years ago. Dude, I am the same way. <laughs> I can't remember yesterday either. Uh, yesterday is as good as ten years ago. Yeah, I, I actually hear you there pretty hard. I don't know if saving this four is worth it, but I'm getting really close to losing my ice block in the next few turns. So, I think I'm going to. Uh so I can't actually more dress next turn, right? I can ping face and then more dress since we're at nine mana. What is this going to be? Whoa, he's going for lethal. That's actually okay. What? Because of the block. Ten years ago, pretty clearly. Okay. But I am getting... Oh, wait, he didn't actually break the block because I got barrier. Oh, he kind of overcommitted a little bit. Do I go for the guff now? Oh, I can't ping that minion there. That sucks. I mean, does it matter if the minion's up? He's going to pop the block for sure next turn. Unless I play a stall. Even if I do, I guess he does because he has guff. 
So yeah, I guess we still just play more dress to get an 8-8 down. It's not great. Oh no, it kills that. It goes off twice. What am I saying? It kills this. It goes, it goes off twice. What am I saying? I was thinking it dealt 20, not 10 twice. Okay, so he thinks he has lethal probably because of guff, which means he might overcommit a little bit. But I think the problem is he's still gonna just like really easily be able to deal eight the turn after, you know? And I still don't have like a win set up. Can necrotic guff, I can attack. I can ping the minion. It's like eight's not actually very safe, right? All things considered here. I sort of need, like, another barrier, maybe. Oh, it's really not safe with solar eclipses in hand. Oh, boy. I did hit an Olgra. That's cool, finally. It's pretty nice. South Sea's too risky, because I'll give him too many minions, maybe. Oh, I don't have lethal, right? Eight plus six. Plus two is eight. Sixteen. 20, 18 damage, he's at 34. No, so I don't have lethal yet. Uh, in which case, I guess we'll uh, do our best here to... Play for the win. I'm going to put a freezer in, right? Because it could be a very big deal if... Uh, he doesn't kill me here, and he might have to deal with this, right? Like, I might be able to freeze face. 11, 14, 16, 20. Is it 26? Still don't have lethal, really. Olgro would be 23. Oh, he's got spell damage solar. I've got to be dead here. Super dead. Maybe it's just a board clear? Oh, my. God, really? He top decked in rage for 12 damage. Oh, this guy is really, really good at drawing cards. It's always, it's always his top card. If only I'd got a frost bolt, dude. If only I'd gotten the frost bolt. He's very good at drawing cards. I'm still mad about the swipe, honestly. I feel like the swipe just completely demolished us. We had this insane five minion board that all just died basically for free. Still a cool run, though. I can't complain. That was a pretty fun run, despite that. The crazy Mordress shenanigans, obviously. Uh, let's take a look at our pack. I got a couple other packs from retiring runs, so who knows which... I think the third pack is technically from that run. I don't know if packs get stacked from top or bottom. <laughs> maybe maybe the freshest packs on top. I don't know. I don't think it matters, of course, but... I'll have to ask Blizzard. It's very important. What order are packs stacked in? I must know. All right. Uh, hey, Taz the Fat Dog. Thanks, man. Trudy's thanks again for the uh, 100 bits a couple times there. As always. Uh, all right, we're going to play a deck here. I found on Reddit, not Reddit, Twitter. It is a uh, control warrior, like legit control warrior. Like actual control warrior. Which apparently works okay in this meta. Pascoa played this to top 100 in across multiple servers, apparently, so quite a bit of consistency there. But uh, with the decreasing appearance of Warlock, decks like this become a little bit more possible. And Mage, too, I guess, but Mage is actually still around a little bit. So, uh, yeah, this is, like, the exact sort of deck that I want to play, always. I love this so much. So defensive, so grindy, so much life gain. It's kind of perfect. So we'll give this a go for a bit. I got about an hour. So we'll play one game <laughs> with Control Warrior. <laughs> we'll play one game. <laughs> no six drop death rattle recruit? Uh, no, that would be a big deck. This is not a big deck. This is a control deck. You can't have cards like Armor Vendor. 
if you want to play cards like that, because he could pull an armor vendor, right? So, it's a big deck, not a, I mean, not a big deck, a control deck. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep cash. I think we want armor gain against Demon Hunter. We want some way to, an oh my god, what is this hand, bro? I know I will top deck Outrider's Axe immediately upon my draw. <laughs> anyway, I need like a Bear of or a Blade Storm or something to answer a Brute. Do not give me a, don't give me the Axe. Okay, Ranker's fine. So, yeah. Uh, Bear of. Blade Storm. There's no Coerce in this list, so... Shield Slam may be right, depending on the situation, of course. We'll be fine. We definitely want to play these to make sure that we're uh, not losing that draw. I love Button, of course, but it's probably more important here. Even though I don't need the weapons, it's just I might draw them anyway and then have a dead card, so. You don't pick the wand Maker. I don't even know what this means. There's no quest played and there's a Wand Maker. Does anybody know what this means? I don't know what it means. Somebody tell me what Demon Hunter's doing and what this means. Blade Storm, Minefield, Ranker. This is a crazy looking hand now. Does anyone know Demon Hunter decks and what this means? Is this just like a... It's not Death Rattle. Is this like an aggro Demon Hunter? What am I about to see right here? I don't know, but a Ranker is delicious. It's just beautiful. It's a J stack? Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Is that running Battle Fiend? Might be able to out-armor a J stack. We'll see. Could try. Also have ball work if we can time it well. Probably an aggressive version of Fell Demon. Let's just start gaining life, right? Some of them do run Battle Fiend. Probably an aggressive version of Fell Demon Hunter. Some of them do run Battle Fiends. Okay. Yeah. Fell Gorge are definitely uh, confirming those suspicions you guys have. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Do, 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 do. This deck's running the double stage dive because we have Stone Maul Anchorman. It's not just being used for a tutor on Kargath Prime, which is what we've seen sometimes in the past with stage dives in control decks. Gonna armor up every turn because it seems like damage is certainly going to be a relevant consideration here. <sighs> Might be hard to get enough armor. I don't know. I don't know what the like kind of you know meaningful points are here. You could easily imagine a bunch of furies and stuff dealing twenty five, and then Jace dealing another twenty five or whatever, right? So we might need 50, I don't know. 50 seems a little high, maybe more like 40, but. <clears throat> but we'll see. Like Cargath Prime, would love a Crash in here. Crash and Sourfang are a lot of potential armor. This is also a lot of armor, which is nice. Kind of hate taking damage from minions. Oh, good. Okay, cool. I don't have to. Thank you, Stone Maul. You understand me. You get what I'm all about, Stone Maul. So it's kind of sad we got this like super weapon driven hand in a matchup where it feels like uh, I think damage is going to matter way more than like cards or removal. We have spare mana. We might just start shipping these face actually, too. You know, these do draw me towards Kargath and Sourfang and Crash, potentially, so it's not like they're useless to clear. But if I can avoid taking chip damage off minions, I'd like to for as long as I can. I'm not expecting minions to scale out of range of these especially well throughout the course of this game, so it's not like I'm losing the ability to use them later, just till I have to, preserving my flexibility a bit. 
Okay, I mean, definitely looking more and more like a Jace deck, by the way. Damage coming in hot so far. Oh my god. Can I get a Mutanus to eat his Jace, by the way? How sick would that be? <laughs> he might just have it chilling in hand, right? That is very reasonable, I would say. Um, okay, so let's think here, right? We... How much damage have we seen, right? We probably need to keep an eye on this. Four. Uh, this was actually three. I think seven plus four is 11. So we've seen 11 damage. So we, we know we're not dead to Jace right now. So I don't have to play for Jace yet. Like, I don't have to Bulwark or anything like that. I can just play real cards for now, I think. And continue to... Like, I don't need to go heavy play it into Bulwark because I'm not dead. He needs to get in another Fury... Which you can't do with Jace right now because that's eight mana. Well, I guess he could if it's discounted by Skull, but you know, following the normal rules. But even then, it wouldn't be enough. That would only add six to the count. What did I say the count was? Four, seven, eleven. Would add, that would make it seventeen. So we're still clear at the moment. His hand is almost symmetrical. Those Outriders and Shield Slams. Would like to be able to use these shield slam soon, so have you play it into something would be cool. Be another great way to remove without using my face. We might get down to a point where he's kind of stuck with like bulwark up while he's got a Jace. Because if he's gonna run out of ways to hit my face other than his hero power, right? We might be able to buy like three or four turns of him hero powering. Uh, which obviously nets me a ton of armor potentially through uh, hero powers and stuff. And then he might die to fatigue or any other consideration as well. Okay, that's damage that's not hitting my face at least. Sour Fang right now is going to resurrect those. Oh, he's hitting minions here. Okay. Interesting. I wonder why. So his total damage just went up by another 7. I think I said it was 11, so it's 18 now. So honestly, we still don't need... Uh, Don't need to freak out yet. This draws two, which means I'm gonna burn. Unless I shield slam, but then I lose an armor up. Which I really wanna do. Oh, perfect, okay. This'll work too. Okay. So 31, we should be totally safe against Jace right now. I don't know if he has any Ilganoth stuff. I doubt it. Is he, could he have an Ilganoth way to get extra damage? Oh, Zai is scary via Zai. I've never seen Zai ran in a real list, have I? I feel like I've never seen Zai. Is that something people are actually doing in real lists? 0.6% of decks. But what percent of Demon Hunter decks? 7% well, of Demon Hunter decks. So, not impossible. Okay. That's kind of cool. Grow impatient. Not maybe the most likely version, but... A very real possibility. Okay, so that definitely changes our breakpoints a little. I think I said, what, what did we say, 18? We said 18 damage right now off Jace. So I would need to get to 36 to survive two of them at the moment. Why slam instead of trading? Because uh, I want to use, well, number one, protect dominion health, but number two, use cards so I have more space in hand. Getting out of space. Oh, that's more damage outs. Okay. Cool. Cargath looking great here. Feeling pretty good. Back to, uh... 43. This also has to be killed, which is maybe a pain. He could have a... Well, I don't know. He's used I-beams. I mean, Jace with the I-beams will probably clear it if he commits the Jace with the hero power, but that's still removing total net damage he's got available. And I still have a heavy plate, too. And Bulwark. 
You forgot to add Silas to your deck. I did not. Uh, well, number one, this is my deck. Number two, it's not really a Silas list. More raw control. Okay. Oh my god. Bell Rush always kills this, but it was like getting kind of close there for a second where it's like, hey, wait a minute. Is he actually going to kill this? He didn't play a Zai, right? So this is it. So this is his... This is his last push here. Right? It's really not even going to get through my armor. That's kind of sad. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. It's exactly what I want out of this. But it's kind of sad. Uh, I, I, he didn't play a Jace, right? So I'm just good, right? I can't... I just don't. I mean, he might have an Ilganoth thing. Maybe I should have played this to be uber safe. I was thinking about trying to end the game, but I guess this technically is safer. In case he has some weird Ilganoth backup plan. He didn't play Zai. I just don't know what he's got left. Literally just played Jace. He did. I'm talking about Zai. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, fights don't matter. Still just played Storm off most of this. Could bear off if we really care. I guess. Doesn't really matter. Do try to keep yourself alive. Okay. You said Jace, we knew you meant Zai. Sure, I feel like I definitely said Zai like five times. Maybe I said Jace once or something? Either way, perfect example of what this deck's about. Absolutely beautiful. That was the just that's that's how I want to play Hearthstone all the time. I just want to have a million health and bleed my opponent out until fatigue and make them concede. Like that is the that is the epitome of the Hearthstone experience to me. So all I want in life is exactly that right there. Just 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 give me that exact game. Distill that game and give it to me all the time. Uh okay. I like Ranker a lot against Rogue, actually. It's pretty good against those wide boards they summon. Uh, stage Dive, I don't hate, but I don't love. Let's look for more removal. And, yeah, okay, this is a good hand, actually. Heavy Plate, I probably don't need yet, but I can trade it, which is cool. Heavy Plate, such a cool card. Okay, whoa, Armor Vendor. What is this? Is this... What is Armor Vendor? Armor Vendor and Rogue? Wait, what? Do they run this in uh, Garot Rogue sometimes? I feel like I've seen it. Am I crazy? Which seems so counterintuitive, but for some reason I feel like I'm thinking of that and I don't know why. Uh, I don't I don't know what Armor Vendor does. They do run in Garot Rogue? Okay, so I'm not crazy. That's good. Suspicions confirmed. Ooh, we like that. So armor gain will definitely matter against uh, Groat Rogue. They can do a lot though, so I need to get it sooner rather than later. If we're gonna go for armor. And I can't take chip damage like this either, that's annoying. What is a secret? Dirty tricks, I guess? Oh, I really hate taking damage from this, man. Ugh. Problem is, I can't even rank her at next turn. Like, it's at three. How is my hand so bad at dealing with this? I need a minefield. I need a minefield. Oh, that's even worse. Oh my god. This is bad. This is really bad. 
I've seen this matchup, and it seems like Control Warrior should be so favored here, but I've seen a lot of people win with Garot Rogue because they can, like, just get the damage all at once and do, like, 45, and it's just, like, Warrior doesn't quite have enough, or more than 45, of course, but, you know, just somewhere around there. I guess I haven't seen a fully, like, secret -y Rogue Garot list yet. This is wild if that's indeed what this is. I still don't really know, but it's kind of wild. Thirty tricks. Okay. Thirty-four plus eight, but really two. Thirty-two plus eight is forty. It's not it enough. Maybe with bulwark, it's enough. Secret We're close though. Stormwind. So you think this is full secrets and not garrote? Could be. Chat was telling me it's Garot Rogue because of Armor Vendor. Well, not really chat. One of you, I think. One, literally one person. <laughs> I mean, you guys are summed up by one individual. That's it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we love Crash. Not yet, but we love Crash. Okay, okay. I think I take this term to just uh, have you play it while I got some mana to spare. I don't want to play Bulwark yet. I'm probably going to play Crash next turn. Hope it somehow sticks. Uh, do we think that's an ambush, though? We don't think it's Shadow Clone, right? So we. Okay, I I never, this is not Garot. Get out of here, much. guys. No. This is obviously not Garot Rogue. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it sure ain't Garot Rogue. I can tell you that with some confidence now. I can tell you that. Uh, I'm just going to trade these straight up. I know I don't draw, but it's fine. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. That's fine. They don't have room for Garot anymore. What is Shadow Clone for? I just don't understand. What is this list? It's hard to play against because I don't know what to expect. Claw Machine. It's like, is that for Nazoth? Got some Nazoth stuff going on. We got... God knows what. Guess we brawl here? Pretty sad if the 4 6 wins. Oh, Sour Fang's actually pretty legit. Uh, I get both Stone Malls back. They don't really trade that well, though, do they? They would just sort of kill two poisonous minions. Draw two cards. It would put me at a fine number of cards. Uh, Blade Storm here, not not exactly great. Blade Storm Ranker is okay. I'm thinking, do I need to save the Brawls for a Nazoth? That's that's where my brain is at right now. <laughs> like like this isn't as good against Nazoth, right? So maybe I gotta save these for the Nazoth. <laughs> I just don't know. I like that we're playing an actual homebrew deck. We don't know what to expect. This is a fun Hearthstone game. What a rare treat right now. Just some unknown crazy Hearthstone matchup. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. Matchup. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Reach, pretty cool. Okay. I'm looking for a Kazakis. Doesn't really tell us much. No four drops, it tells us, I guess. It's um Again, Sarfang's just a little weak here because of this poisonous, right? I guess it's a little better if I hit uh, a shield slam. Let's see. 
brawl again. Ranker again. Okay. That's fine. We'll leave the poison this up. It's not that scary here. At least I've got some board. Get some refills. I'm equipped for the next few turns. Okay, it's definitely Nazoth. There's no question. Moarg tells us certainly that it's a Nazoth. Uh, so we'll just eat the Nazoth, right? Like, there is a Kazakis minion in hand as well, but that's not a bad eat either. So we'll just eat whichever it is. There's a decent chance we hit it right now. It's probably been chilling in hand for a bit. Oh! Not an Azoth, but not bad. Sadly, this dies, but it's okay. I don't really need it. We just take it before he plays the Azoth. I don't know if Moarg was his final piece of the puzzle. It looks like Alex was, but either way, it's all good. Real shame this thing's still alive, by the way. Oh, God. I mean, I think we'll just win this out in fatigue as long as I can maintain enough removal, right? Oh my God, Blade Storms never looked better. What? <laughs> okay. You made his tempo the crash, right? Yeah, it's a little better. So, I mean, he could have like Shadow Step, obviously, for Nazoth. Shadow Step in the game? I don't even know. Yeah, Shadow Steps in the game, obviously. <laughs> Rogues play Shadow Steps all the time. So I need to be mindful of, like, multiple Nazoths, like, three total, right? So I have Double Brawl. I don't necessarily have a good answer to the third Nazoth. But hopefully we can figure that out. Mage Secret. Okay. Okay, easy enough. We'll hold this for a rattle gore later, hopefully. I'd like to him to have like a dead turn or two where I can get a rattle gore down. That turn was sort of it, but I think Hanar is just too much value, right? Like if it was just those stats, I could have dumped the rattle gore. As long as I don't attack face, right? Because Shadow Clone. Now does he shadow step this, right? This is the question. No. Okay, so Brawl is good enough, yeah. Okay. Brawl is good enough. <laughs> oh, I counter spell, bro. That's annoying. I could have shield slammed first. Oh no, don't tell me he's actually got a shadow step and he's gonna get to use it now. I mean, he could use it anyway, zero mana. He must not have one. Or at least he didn't have it in hand, obviously. Don't tell me he drew the shadow step and I wasted a brawl. That would be the nightmare scenario. Oh. This is not That's not a shadow step. That's not a shadow step. It's big as can be, though. Deck of Lunacy on his final four cards. Okay, we should be fine now. This should be okay. I actually uh, don't have great removal, though. Uh, if I just go ranker first, what am I looking at? Five and threes, eight and threes, eleven. So that's a clear... In that case, I should hit here first so that it's 1 and 5 is 6 and 3 is 11, uh, yeah. No, I don't use the Ranker last because the math might get messed up, right? This way I know Ranker deals 6. Uh, we might get a Galloping Idiot uh, that messes this up, I guess. But it's not that big a deal. Okay. So what random cards could they have in deck? Oh, that brawl sucks. I'm still mad about that, but thankfully it was okay. No shadow step to punish. All good. All good. Glide. Okay, I'm fine with that. My deck's average, the same average quality anyway. Maybe not with Rattlegore in hand, I guess, but I could get a card death prime. Okay, it's actually it's actually good. It gets me Cargath Prime now. 
Uh, they're just out of... There's just, like, no way they're going to get there, right? I'm at six-card fatigue advantage. I probably have a better deck. I know that's a Shadow of Clones. I don't play into it. Yeah, that was a cool deck, though, dude. I love dude messing around. I might toss a Shadow Step in there if I'm him to get three Nazoths. Or two Shadow Steps. Maybe it messes up the draw consistency too much and it's just weak overall, but seems like it'd be cool. Kind of makes me want to play it. Shadow Step Nazoth stuff. Oh, hey, Azura, that was you, uh? Yeah, that was a cool deck, dude. Pretty sweet looking. Ooh, Warrior. Is this a mirror match? Could be Pirate. Uh, if it's Pirate, I probably want to keep Axe. If it's a control deck, I probably don't want Axe because fatigue becomes a relevant concern. I guess we'll see pretty soon. Double Axe. That ain't what we want. That's scary. I guess if it's pirates, it's okay. Be pirate. Be pirate. Armor, armor, oh no, it's not pirates. Alright, well we've buttoned a lot. This is probably been my last game of the day, guys. I only got 30 minutes left, and this this will maybe eat all of it. Let's see. Uh I do have faceless and rattle gore, so I can definitely Oh, he is pirates. He's just me. Oh sweet. Okay, never mind. He's like control pirates though. This could get even more interesting. Still intrigued. I think our weapons got way better though. Control pirates. Oh, you did have a shadow step. Oh, okay. So I kind of almost screwed myself with the uh, brawl counter spell. Cause I didn't really have a good answer to the second Nazoth. Except for the other brawl, which I was saving up and then I blew it on the counter spell. I blew it, I tell ya. It's like an okay minefield, but it's not great. I think we just take the uh, the axe. We can definitely draw cards now. We know. I mean, it's still gonna be hard for me to outvalue Juggernaut long. I, I don't know. Maybe I, I I sort of suggest that I'm favored here, but I don't know. Now that I say that, like Juggernaut's just infinite value. I don't know if I can beat Juggernaut in hindsight. It actually seems kind of hard to beat. Now that I think about it. I mean, I may need to play for a higher tempo play, like, you know, get a good uh, Tower Fang or something. Maybe I could Mutanus the Rokara if they do a very poor job of keeping Rokara in hand. Like, you know, they keep her in hand. This is great. This is a control pyroless. I love it. It's fun. Very cool. Beautiful. Breaking story. Breaking story. Rattle Gore could be enough, right? Like, we may just be able to Rattle Gore, copy Rattle Gore, and, like, chip them down over time. Like, that could definitely outpace Juggernaut. It's kind of a similar sort of card, right? Like a pseudo-endless value card. I mean, obviously, Juggernaut literally is endless, but... Rattle Gore is same kind of vibe, anyway. I guess they might have removal. Oh, I should have attacked. Oh, crap. This might die. May not. It's kind of hard to kill, but it might. Should have attacked. I have plenty of draw and weapons anyway, so no need to hold. Yeah, shoot. Plus three damage. I don't know. That may not be wrong, honestly, because who really cares? Oh, yikes. My hand just got super dead. Can play this just to cycle, but I'm kind of stranded otherwise. Kind of a weird time to bulwark, right? When I have the 2 5 up, but. Did save some health for sure on the Stone Mall. I mean, saving health regardless, but it's it's more easy than normal for me to get through this, at least. <clears throat> you know, that would be much scarier if I had, like, only a Rattle Gore on board, for instance. I mean, the good news here is, is that he's taking a really long time, of course, to get the. Uh, get the quest done because he's got all these like control cards so that's giving me time to find rattle gores and stuff 
Uh, I guess he probably has brawls, so like Sour Fang may not actually be all that good. Somehow I have less life right now. I don't know how. <laughs> I feel like I guess just using my weapon to. Uh, okay, we'll play Ralagor. Yeah, perfect time actually. He may have like a faceless, I guess. I mean, if we're running faceless in this deck, he might too. Or not. Okay. <laughs> cool. Man, what was in hand? I guess just a bunch of removal and control stuff that wasn't really that that premium. Or wasn't that good against this this level four two anyway. Bum 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 bum. I love this deck. This is my favorite kind of deck. <laughs> Mage, this may be our toughest challenge yet. We don't like Mage. Ignite is our enemy. It's really hard to beat Ignite. We need to get Rattlegores ASAP and just hit them very hard. Sadly, armor ups just really won't achieve a lot for us. Oh, it's hero power mage though. That is better because they may not have ignites. I may be able to outlive this. Like I can out armor Mordresh, right? I mean, I guess they still could have ignites. I don't know, but little less likely it seems. So we want life. We want armor. We want removal. I need something to answer a Mordresh. Barov, I guess, meets that need right now. Shield Slam could answer that need, certainly, but might not have enough armor. Korgath Prime could answer that call. It's one of those days today, I tell you. <laughs> I mean, come on. I cannot seem to beat top decks today. Man, it's one of those days. I mean, literally the first card. <laughs> uh, good job. Good job, Olga. You did it. Uh, I can't even shield slam that right now. It sucks. I can go minefield shield slam. Feels pretty excessive, though, I feel like. Is that really the best play I have? Pair off minefields garbage, too. Uh, bear off shield slams like okay, but not great, obviously. Uh, maybe I just let it hit me. It's only three damage, right? Who cares? So many just gonna let it hit me, I guess. I don't know. How annoying is it that uh, <laughs> I have this 3-7 to deal with already, right? I mean, just like this game would be in such a good spot without that guy. Well, this makes the bear off feel slightly better. Um, it still really doesn't feel very good, though, I'd say. What do I think has more value, right? A shield slam or a minefield? Actually, I think it's going to be minefield because my armor is staying in check so much, right? I think we, uh, I think we, we need that. The minefield's probably going to be more damage because they're just chipping down my, uh, my armor so much. What makes so oh, boy. Feel? Well, minefield's good against this usually, at least. Whoa! Double Niru! That's cool! It's actually pretty fun. Hopefully, uh... Do that. This goes how we want. Indeed it does. Taking a lot of damage, though. Still nervous about that. Oh my god, these hands, man. Oh, Not good hands. I can get a bulwark at least. Like, that's cool. I'm afraid we're going to lose this game because of that man crick. When otherwise, I don't think we would ever lose it. You were so hyped about. You know, it's not over yet. Like, let's not let's not doom ourselves too soon here. But 
You were so hyped about Nero. I <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought it was cool how symmetrical it was and how awesome it looked. Yeah. Yes, I could get hyped about my opponent's plays. Deal with it. <laughs> it's just how it is, okay? Hargath Prime might be awesome here. Um, okay, I probably actually should have done this first. There was a chance I screwed myself up there and... Hopefully we get Kargath Prime and not Zone Ball. Nice! That's actually really good. <clears throat> you guys don't think I'm dead, do you? Like, well, no, I'm definitely not dead yet to Mordresh or anything. Uh, if he plays Mordresh, though, I could just prime it now. Yeah, let's wait a turn here. Can actually just throw this away in case hand size matters. Oh, that would have been a good counter spell check, though. Shoot, maybe I should have held for counter spell. I don't know. All right, so any minion here gets me a Kargath Prime. It's pretty sweet. Oh my! Thank God I didn't play Bulwark, by the way. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my God! Imagine if I played Bulwark into that. Oh, I would have been so sick, dude. So bad. <clears throat> Hopefully this can live and I can faceless it. I mean, faceless is usually for Rattlegor, I think, but my god, how sick would that be? He may just have to play uh, Mordresh to clear this if he can't otherwise deal with it, right? Yeah, I have Mordresh yet, of course. I think it's done, though, as far as that's concerned. Uh, three plus three plus ping. Okay, so that's dead. It's fine. I sadly don't really have a good way to deal with this. Like, attack Ranker doesn't feel very good. Can I maybe just play a Rattle Gore? Maybe I can play Crash Attack Ranker. It gets me the Crash Armor as well. Yeah, I think that's okay, actually. I don't love taking the four, but I'm... I'm getting the armor twice here, right? So that's nice. No, I don't want to draw. That's not wrong. I want, I want the armor instead. I mean, I do need cards for the record, but for now, armor is, is king. I'm hoping we'll draw more cards. And we have the other Outriders anyway, so. <clears throat> Heavy plates would be nice soon. Take another armor vendor. We take it. Actually, now a uh, Sour Fang's pretty good. Just because Crush again, right? You don't pick the oh, that's a good ranker target again. Play more of those. Oh, give you one ones, please. Oh, no, no one ones. Isn't Faceless Way too greedy now? It is. Apparently not. This is a top 100 legend deck from a professional Hearthstone player. He's found a lot of success with it, so apparently it's just the right amount of greediness. I mean, obviously we don't have a ton of data, but early results would suggest it's the correct amount. Might be a fine time to Bulwark. We have a pretty good board, so that would make uh, Mordresh a little more tempting, right? So this would deny the Mordresh. There's never going to be a perfect moment until it's like he's literally out of cards to play. So we'll just try to get in if we can. Yeah, yeah, as Trimedia said, with Warlock being nerfed and Mage not being super duper common, well, it's depending on your rank, I guess. Mage is more common at lower ranks, but... Uh, Maybe even our rank. I, I, I consider this a lower rank for the record, but outside of legend. Uh, yeah, it, basically Faceless has got a little more time. And this deck's all about stabilizing on a bunch of life, so I think it's just there to grind out certain value matchups. Sometimes you need a little value. Uh, that's a good question. Why did I equip when I had Turtle in play? <laughs> that's a great question, yeah. Uh, <laughs> really, really, really top smart question there. I don't know. Great, 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 uh, great line of questioning. Rip Bulwark. I guess I had a lot of faith in the turtle being alive, but misplaced faith. The reality is I forgot. Uh, we're going to eat his Mordresh. He's being greedy with it. There's probably not a lot of minions left in hand. He's waiting for the right moment, so we're just going to eat it, right? No. 
Oh, okay. So this is the APX void list, by the way. We've seen uh, that list with Alex and... Uh... Well, actually, at the moment, I don't have a way to kill Mordresh, but I guess I'm not going to have the armor anyway post Mordresh, so... Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so Alex is down. That makes Mordresh a possibility still. I mean, I'll take the Alex eat. That's still a ton of damage and a giant minion on board to deal with now. Totally fine with this result. Mordresh plus ping would clear, I guess. I have time to play Rattlegore now. Uh, well, not really. I'm still kind of dying. So you need like a blade storm. Because Ranker is just not very good. Outriders on the Varden. Just to see what I find. I'm kind of out of stuff, man. Losing a lot of weapon value this game, huh? I don't think Brawl's worth it yet. I mean, you assume their total like peak damage now is is basically 13 from from Mordresh plus hero power. Plus this now is 16. So I'm not like dead on any given one turn, but I am going to eventually have to outpace this fire blast, right? Like my hero power doesn't technically beat it after they like run out of stuff. Oh, whoa, potions pretty crazy. Wow. It's an extra apprentice, but they didn't get to use it on Mordresh, so. They must just not have the Mordresh in hand yet, I guess. I feel like I would have played it for tempo by now, maybe. He's gonna deal an extra three again. Man. Uh, Ranker got better. For sure, I can hit here and then Ranker for life. I think you should Pretty have good, actually. and played Rattlegore earlier. I don't know, maybe, but I didn't. I'm actually glad I didn't. There's been a lot of freeze. Uh, we like armor more, or do we like card draw more? I think I like armor more still. Could go for the brawl instead to make sure that I clear effectively, but... I think I win this game if I have enough armor. If I attack here, I'm at 14. This heals for eight. I take another three. So that's 22. That's three. That's eight. 19. Yeah, I'm alive still. Yeah, I think I do this. Why is this heavy plate six mana? <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> I think I'm alive this turn, so I play uh, armor up instead to squeeze this in, right? I need a moment here. I actually can't kill the Mordresh right now. I need to figure out a way to kill the Mordresh. I need like Minefield and a Bladestorm or something. I Brawl can, technically. Oh my god, the extra damage here from Double Mask. Double Generated Mask of Cthune. Like, are you serious? That is incredibly frustrating. Double generated mask, man. Ah, oh, I'm almost dead. Oh, this gives me uh, Crash, right? So this is actually worth mo as much or more armor than Heavy Plate, and it clears the board. So this was like the perfect draw. Yeah, I get Crash for sure, because Stone Maul's in hand. This was the, like, god draw right here. I am, like, losing in fatigue, though, now, too. So if he clears this board with Mordresh, <laughs> like I'm losing in fatigue. I have to, uh, I have to, wait, can I? No, you can't trade forever. No, that doesn't work. Uh, oh, okay. Are we gonna get to deal some board damage though? No Mordresh here. Okay, this actually gives me a chance to play Rattlegore safely for once. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, God. No, I'm dead. Oh, God. I'm actually dead. Oh, I'm at 12. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm dead. I had the hero power. Or heavy plate. Oh, crap. I just killed myself if he has more trash. Oh, shoot. 
I thought I was okay, but I'm not okay. I'm dead. Oh my god, what a major miscalculation. Oh, he top decked it, I know, because I've been beat I've been beaten by top deck. Oh, he literally dead. He's been beaten by top deck. Literally all day. That's all we lose to is guards off the top. Oh, I threw, but still annoying that it was the card off the top. Like, actually would have much rather it have been in hand. Would have much rather it have been in hand. Oh, boy. Pank, Pain Loker says, ooh, play like noob. You don't know how to spell the word you. I think I'd rather be in my spot than yours. <laughs> You are too lazy to type two additional letters. It's a tough life for you out there, I bet. <laughs> All right, I like Arbiter. Priest is actually... Uh... This is be my last game, by the way. I only have 13 minutes, so hopefully this actually doesn't go too long. Priest... Quest Priest is actually tough. I've seen some just, like, control priests. They're running like just like Elix and like just heals and a little bit of card generation, but no actual quest. Um. Oh, okay, quest. That's bad. That gives them a very defined win condition. We have to be the aggressor in this matchup now. We can't just be a control deck against Shard, right? Why you sober? <laughs> what? I don't know what burr means? What is burr? It feels like it's gonna be funny, but I don't know. Yeah, we can Mutanus uh, Zyrella. Theoretically, could maybe Mutanus like whatever their one eight drop is or something. It's unlikely, right? But definitely possible to Mutanus Zyrella. So card draws a premium. You've got me fired oh, whoa, that's big. Armor gain really does me nothing in this matchup. It's really just card draw and Mutanus. That's it. Why are you sober? I wish I wasn't. I don't really drink, though. I don't actually think I've ever been drunk. Saddest story of my life. I've been high. I just couldn't Never come drunk. up with word for you hating on spelling of you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll tempo. Uh, we already tried an Elwynn Boar Hunter deck with beast buffs. It didn't go well. It actually went really poorly. Kelp is odd, eh? Prior to... That is a wild... That's a wild look. Uh... Do I think I can win this via just, like, pressure? Just tempo. I, I really don't. If I had two stone balls in hand, maybe. So many uh, I think I have to draw cards. I need Mutanus. For sure, if I had double... Should have played this. There's no reason to hero power. Uh, for sure, if I double... Stone Maul, I probably would have just shield slammed that and played a Stone Maul and gone hard face and tried to win off board off Sour Fang. But without Stone Mauls in hand, I think I have to. Uh, I think I have to just uh, take that trade and draw cards to find Mutanus. I don't, in other words, we we can't like zoo this out, right? Uh, there's a chance Rattlegore gets me to that position as well, for the record. Like if I can get a Rattlegore fast enough and they just take a long time to finish their quest. But I don't have either, so. It's not even close. What do I even play? Like, what do I play here, you know? I guess bear off attack. Just to hit Mutanus ASAP. The good news about Mutanus with this deck is that they have to keep the... 
Zyrella in hand because they play an eight drop to finish, or I guess you could play a seven drop technically, whatever. But Zyrella is always going to be in hand. So you know you have a chance to hit her. Of course, you're not ever guaranteed, obviously, but there's a chance to hit Zyrella always, which you don't always have in every quest deck, right? Sometimes, uh. Sometimes they play it immediately. Uh, this deck by Regis is a clown fiesta with nacho cheese. What the heck is he playing? I, I didn't make this deck. This is a top 100 legend pro player control warrior. It's not, I don't even think it's that weird. What do you think is strange about this? This is a pretty standard, like, last expansion control warrior even. There's barely any Stormwind stuff in here, right? What is even is the Stormwind stuff? Have you played, I guess? Yeah? Really not too much in here. And speaking of which, I don't even know what I'm going to put in the thumbnail of this deck. I guess Heavy Plate, maybe? I, I don't know. Sour Fang's always a beautiful thumbnail, but... Yes, yeah. Mutanus will be probably, like, what, a 1 in 4, 1 in 5, maybe, once Quest is done. Not going to be easy. But, of course, we'll try. Uh, okay. Just gonna play this. Uh, it doesn't matter at all as far as armor gain because we just, again, armor is not how we win this game. We just want to play dudes. I need Rattle Gore off the top, and then I need to follow that up immediately with a Faceless Manipulator. That's the other win condition out here. <laughs> Beautiful is how I refer to Sour Fang. He's one of my favorite Warcraft characters, so he's beautiful to me. I love him. Guys, summarize the Nintendo Direct for me. I didn't get to watch it. I wonder. I need to hear all the details. Ruin. Wow, okay. That's a pretty good answer. Rattlecore. Rattlecore. Give me one top deck. Rattlecore. Okay. <laughs> okay. Faceless manipulator. Faceless manipulator. I need faceless manipulator. Please give me faceless manipulator. Faceless. Faceless manipulator. Oh, God. I really need Faceless Manipulator. Please. Bleed Storm, huh? That's not good. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm an actual god. <laughs> this is not win me the game or anything this isn't over but it's a good start it's a really good start uh okay now i need like crash and <laughs> crash and stone mall <laughs> i packed the game <laughs> crash and stone mall either one crash or stone mall or stage dive. Stage dive is the same difference. Don't find a silence, please. Don't find a silence. I also just maybe have 19 damage coming back. I mean, you can obviously trade these down and leave one at seven or whatever. But I mean, hopefully between the two of them, over the next couple turns, right, I can just keep going face and just get there. Hmm, does this might? I guess you don't have anything else to target, so yeah. So. Trade, trade. Or whatever. It's 15. Oh, he's gonna make one smaller sooner. It doesn't. I don't know if it matters, but. Sure. So I have, I have 17 damage. 
He's at 19. But somehow I don't have lethal. Do I draw for anything, or I just, I think I just go face, right? Like, just shield slam this little dude. Just make him have it. Honestly, I could maybe even Mutanus, but really, why bother, right? Same thing with Sour Fang, like, why bother? Um... Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. I'm either gonna win or I'm not. Mutanus is fine. It might be taunt. Um. Okay, that's an interesting theory. Like, if I eat a taunt. Yeah, that does give it an upside. Okay, I I, I buy it. Let's Mutanus. Like, we're not gonna win quests anyway at this point. We're gonna win via Rattler as we win. So, in case we eat a taunt. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Genius call in chat. Uber hit with the Mutanus. Unbelievable. Okay. This game, dude. This is a special game. Potheosis is scary, but it may not be enough, actually. It depends on how... Like, he'd heal for 12. He'd be at 17. Currently, it wouldn't exactly be enough. Would be annoying, though. It'd be hard to maybe race if he hit that. Uh, that's enough to stay alive, unfortunately, right? Can I... Oh, no, he heals 8. That's 13. So I just have to clear that with Bladestorm, and I'm fine. Yeah, this is lethal. He heals 8. That's 15, and I have 17. Cool. Wow. What a game, dude! What a game! We won the unwinnable matchup. Even though he had the Soul Mirror too on demand, that was a cool game, dude. I am the I am the Rattlegore Whisperer. <laughs> the Rattlegore Whisperer. Uh, okay, I gotta go, guys. That was a good finish on that. That was awesome, super fun game. We definitely found the Lions. Clutch Mutanus. Shout out to Mutius. Clutch Top Decks. And all while I was sober. <laughs> all right, I really legit gotta go. I will be back uh, tomorrow, but actually I may not play Arsenal tomorrow. I might do some other games uh, on my like YouTube alt channel. My uh, Regis Chilbin stuff. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I got quite a few videos queued up for Hearthstone, so tomorrow I may do a variety thing. Stay tuned to my Discord or whatever. And uh, keep an eye out there if you wanna, if you wanna join in on that. But I haven't, I haven't decided. We may do Hearthstone, we may do that, but one of the two. So anyway, love you a ton. Thanks for hanging out today. Let me drop a raid before I depart. Person says, talking TwitchCon. I will not be a TwitchCon, but other people might. So anyway, have fun on the raid. Thanks for hanging out. Love you a ton. Good luck out there. This is actually a pretty sweet deck. Uh, I don't have the deck code handy, but here's a link to the person who does. Oh, actually, I can't post that. I'll post it after I hit the raid. Uh, love you. Thanks for watching. See you soon, and until next time, game on.